it is your boy Octacool, or you may refer to me as my human name, which is Chris, and I'm here with my equally human brother. Hello, it's me, equally human brother, named Curtis. Wait. And my non-human dog, Mogwai. Yes, named after the creature from Gremlins, because Gremlins is an amazing movie. If you've not seen it, do yourself a favor, go see it. But today we were watching Full Metal Jacket. It was a tie between that movie and Schindler's List. Uh, I usually do tiebreaker polls, but this time I decided for my own well-being, I would do Full Metal Jacket because I cannot watch a three-hour film. I did not know Schindler's List was three hours. And I'd be up to like 1 a.m. plus in the morning, and uh, I can't do that. I have to work in the morning. So that's my bad. I will 100% do Schindler's List in the future. It will be a confirmed movie. I will do it because I owe you guys that. And it's because I'm a big, thick, dummy boy. But mm -hmm. other than that, um, I just want to thank you guys quick for 10K. Yeah. I can't believe we hit it. I've said this many times, but we had that as a goal for the end of the year. I think we're only three, four months in since I hit 1,000 subscribers. And um, I can't believe it. Honest to God, like I'm overwhelmed, but insanely appreciative. A lot of your comments are super nice as well. Like, the overwhelming nice comments a is great. The majority of them are nice. There's some few that are... There's some insulting ones or some, like, really mean or rude comments. <laughs> They're like, really funny, though. <laughs> I'm telling you, the comments that are making fun of my weight, you guys, gotta, <laughs> you guys gotta do better, man. I've heard it all. Like, I keep looking for one that's, like, at least a little charming or creative. It's the same old stuff, guys. Come on, up it up a bit. If you're gonna make fun of my weight, make it great. Make me chuckle. Make me laugh. Don't make me bored. But anyways, on that note, where you're possibly or probably going to do a Q&A video because of 10K. So ask us any questions you want. For example, you can ask, hey, Chris, why are you so big? Hey, I don't know about that one, but I can tell you in the Q&A if you really care that much. <laughs> but yes, ask us any questions. This video will be the last video where we will take questions from because we're going to do the Q&A probably after, well, filming it on the weekend. And this video comes up on Friday. So yeah, any comments in this video and Tuesday's video will be taken for reference for the Q&A. So, I don't know if we'll do anything else for 10K. I'm honestly not creative, and I have very little time. But maybe we can think of something cool, too. If you th can think of anything that's cool to add on top of it, let us know as well in the comments down below. But on that note, I'm going to stop my rambling. I love you all. Thank you. We're going to be watching the movie right... Now. Now. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. And the first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be, sir. Do you maggots understand that? Sir, sir yes, sir. Bullshit, I can't hear you. Sound off like you got a pair. Sir, yes, sir. You're the lowest form of life on earth. You are not even human fucking beings. You are nothing but unorganized, grabastic pieces of amphibian shit. <laughs> what? Whoa. Because I am hard, you will not like me. I am hard, but I am fair. There is no racial bigotry here. Here you are all equally worthless. <laughs> equally <laughs> worthless? Oh my god. Is that you, John Wayne? Is this me? Who said that? Uh oh. Who the fuck said that? Who's the slimy little comet of shit twinkle toad cocksucker down here? <laughs> He's just signed his own death warrant. Oh my god. Nobody, huh? Was it you, you scroungy little fuck, huh? Sir, no, sir! You little piece of shit, you look like a fucking worm. I bet it was you! Oh sir, God. no, sir! Sir, I said it, sir! What have we got here? A fucking comedian, private joker. I admire your honesty. Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. What? <laughs> you little scumbag! I got your name! I got your ass! Oh my god. You had best unfuck yourself or I will unscrew your head and check down your neck. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. I'm Joker. Why did you join my beloved corps? Sir, to kill, sir. So you're a killer. Sir, yes, sir. Let me see your war face. Ah! Bullshit. You didn't convince me. Let me see your real war face. Ah! You don't scare me. Work on it. Sir, yes, sir. What's your excuse? Sir, excuse for what, sir? I'm asking the fucking questions here, Private. Do you understand? <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Well, thank you very much. Can I be in charge for a while? Sir, yes, sir. Are you shook up? Are you nervous? Sir, sir, what? Are you about to call me an asshole? <laughs> sir, no, sir. <laughs> How tall are you, Private? <laughs> sir, five foot nine, sir. Five foot nine. I didn't know they stacked shit that high. <laughs> I bet you're the kind of guy that would fuck a person in the ass and not even have the goddamn common courtesy to give him a reach around. I'll be watching you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what 
What's your name, fat body? Sir Leonard Lawrence, sir. Lawrence, Lawrence, what, of Arabia? Sir, no, sir. That name sounds like royalty. Are you royalty? Sir, no, sir. Do you think I'm cute, Private Powell? Do you think I'm funny? Sir, no, sir. Then wipe that disgusting grin off your face. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> what are you fucking <laughs> he talking, can't. sweetheart? Sir, I'm trying, sir. Private Powell, I'm going to give you three seconds. Do I take okay. a stupid looking grin off your face? I can't drink the tea. Or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. Two, three. Sir, I can't help it. Oh shit. Damn. Man. He's hard as hell. Jeez. Like, he really went out of his way to upset them and make them just pissed. Oh no. Private Powell, what are you trying to do to my beloved car? Sir, I don't know, sir. You are dumb, Private Powell, but do you expect me to believe that you don't know left from right? Sir, no, sir. Then you did that on purpose. You want to be different. Sir, no, sir. What side was that, Private Powell? Sir, right side, sir. Don't fuck with me again, Powell. It reminds me of Whiplash. Oh, good movie. But yeah, that extreme, um... Tough love kind of teaching, I guess. I don't know. That's more. That's, just, that's harder than tough love. That's just plain abusive. <laughs> There's no love in that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Dude, I feel sorry for this guy, dude. Come on. Oh my god. Like it's funny, but that's sad. Shoulder. Move the rifle around your head, not your head around the rifle. Hard. Why is he so hard on this guy? I don't know, man. <laughs> what the hell is with his practices? Like his little chants and stuff. He's creative, I'll give him that. That he is. Oh, damn. <laughs> Just a random okay. scream. Get your fat ass over there, Prime Pile. Oh, that's oh right, man, no. Oh, no. Don't make any fucking effort to get your ass up there by now, wouldn't they? Oh, oh yes, sir. No. Get your fat ass up there, Pile. Pull. Pull, Pile, pull. Oh, no. Don't pull up, Pile. Come on. Pull. Get your ass up there. Come on, Do you man. mean to tell me that you cannot... Oh, man. I feel bad for him, dude. Like, he's boys. singled out every hey, time. Hey, move it out. Move it out. Dude, the things he says are things incredible. he says are, are really funny, but man, it's just like, oh man, I feel bad for Pile, dude. Like, how do you handle that much abuse? Like, some people can handle it; they thrive off of it. So, like, it works on some people, but oh no, not everybody can do it. It's true. Sometimes it just it just breaks people. Yeah, they, they, it does the opposite effect. They just can't handle it. I'm a Joker. Do you believe in the Virgin Mary? Say no, sir. Uh oh. Private Joker. I don't believe I heard you correctly. Sir, the private said no, sir, sir. Why, well, you little maggot? You make me want to vomit. Now, you do love the Virgin Mary, don't you? Sir, negative, sir. Private, sir, the private believes that any answer he gives will be wrong. And the senior drill instructor will beat him harder if he reverses himself, sir. Private Joker promoted to squad leader. Sir, I lie, sir. Disappears, scumbag. Sir, I lie, sir. Private Pyle. So he got re rewarded for standing his ground on his belief. Yep. Interesting. He would never Operating let it go if he didn't. Mm-hmm. Operating on guide. I can understand without, like, proper stability how that could that actually be... Not just that, like, he could be afraid of heights. True, too. That's what I was thinking. Three. But you see, like, how much easier he's okay. learning now? Yeah. Like, how he's actually giving it a shot? Because he has patience. He's actually trying to help him. The other guy is just abusive as hell. Oh. There oh. we go. Come on. He's so close. Come on. Just gotta do the twist. Ooh. Yo, let's go. That's very kind of him, though, that he's showing him the ropes and everything and trying to, like, inst Get it no, right into him. I think the guy realized that he needed different teaching methods. That it wasn't working for him. I think so, too. I don't know if that was the case. If so, smart on him. 
Jesus H. Christ. Private Pile, why is your footlocker unlocked? Sir, I don't know, sir. Private Pile, if there is one thing in this world that I hate, it is an unlocked footlocker. You know that, don't you? Well, now. Oh, my God. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? Oh. What is that, Private Pile? Private Pile has dishonored himself and dishonored the platoon. I have failed because you have not helped me. From now on, whenever Private Pile fucks up, I will not punish him. I will punish all of you. And the way I see it, ladies, oh, you no. owe me for one jelly donut. It just singles him out and makes everyone resent him. Oh, oh my god. Like, already the guy's struggling horribly, and now you're just going to make everyone hate him. Well, oh my god. More than anything, he's going to hate himself. It's not how you solve the problem. No, it isn't. You're just making things ten times worse. What's... Is that a bar of soap? What? Is that a, a, a bar of soap club? Yeah, Flail? is this a weapon? Oh no, don't tell me they're gonna target him. Seriously? Oh no, this... No. What? Oh my god, what does that solve? I think they're just taking it out. Oh no. Oh my god, poor fucking Leonard, dude. Jesus Christ. No man, I don't know, but that really pissed me off. Yeah, me too. And before oh man, he piles not doing island, too hot. Nah, he's just uh It's resentment. Cause he knows that the drill Happy sergeant doesn't like him. And now everyone he doesn't all like him. The, he caused it all. Just singling him out the other day. He made everyone hate him. Oh, it's Jesus' birthday, okay. He, he loves his uh he loves his religion, dude. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Everything clean. Oil. I think he's realizing that. Is beautiful. Something's not right with him. Yep. Smooth, Charlie. Either that or he feels bad about it. He regrets what he took part in. Yep. Leonard talks to his rifle. I don't think Leonard can hack it anymore. I think Leonard's a Section 8. It don't surprise me. I want to slip my tube stick into your sister. What? What are you taking, Trey? What do you got? Huh? Huh? Did I miss something there? That was so out of nowhere. He's really not doing well still. Yeah, he looks kind of unhinged. Like, something Our like... last night on the island. Something's not right. I draw Firewatch. Dude, I got a bad feeling right now, man. Oh my god. What's that clanging? Is it part of the music or is it something? I don't like this. Me either, too. I... That bad feeling's getting far worse. Oh. Oh my god. Hi, Joker. Are those live rounds? Full metal jacket. Movie title name, okay. There it is. I like when they do that. Left shoulder! <laughs> Dude, he's totally broken. Oh my god, please don't. What in the name of Jesus H. Christ are you animals doing in my head? Why aren't you stomping Private Pilot's guts out? Sir, it is the private's duty to inform the senior drill instructor that Private Pile has a full magazine and is locked and loaded, sir! What is your major malfunction, numbnuts? Didn't mommy and daddy show you enough attention when you were a child? Holy shit! What? 
I did not. Th I did not think he was actually just. Oh no! Yo, Joker, just get the hell out of there. Just run. Oh no! 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 Ah! Oh! Oh my God! Wow! Oh Jesus, man! I was not expecting that, but man, he was pushed real hard. Yeah. Everyone has a limit. No, but that was just surprising. I didn't think it was gonna go out that way. Well, baby, me so horny. Me love you long time. Oh my God, that's where this f that phrase is from? I didn't even know. Oh my God. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, what was that whole interaction? What? Was that like some victory martial arts or something? Like, I just don't get it. What was that for? <laughs> that was so weird. That whole... And then he answered with martial arts. <laughs> like, what? You know what really pisses me off about these people? Why? We're supposed to be helping them and they shit all over us every chance they get. Are you helping them though? Are you really? Ooh, fireworks. Cool. Tet. The year of the monkey. Hmm. Vietnamese Lunar New Year's Eve. <sighs> I am fucking bored to death, man. Joker's so tough, he eat the boogers out of a dead man's nose. <laughs> what? Then ask for seconds. <laughs> Ew. Listen up, pilgrim. Uh-oh. Is that fireworks or uh... That's the boom boom sticks. Oh, damn. You get in the field like you want to. Don't regret it. Oh, oh my god. I just saw pieces there. Yeah, I think I saw someone explode. Oh my god. I don't think you got much of a choice, bud. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, it's real. Okay. Oh my god. Just running in like that doesn't seem like the greatest idea. No, not at all. Not a smart idea, unless it's a distraction. That's it? That, that was, was a very uh, half-assed attack, I must say. Yeah, I'm very surprised on that. Uh-oh. Oh, uh oh. No. I don't know. Come on, dude. It's a power throw, power throw. What's he shooting at? Grass? That's not fun. Oh my god! Oh my god. Yo, that guy is not right in the head. Holy hell. He was just shooting at innocent, like, farmers. Yeah, I thought he was actually shooting at, like, uh... I thought he was just shooting for the hell of shooting. Yeah, I thought he was just shooting at the grass because he was just having fun, but... Fuck, man. He was actually shooting... Be civilians. Yeah, just civilians. Innocence. But jeez, man. Dude, that guy's gonna really wish he did not go on site. 100%. He's gonna regret it very soon. I, I feel anxious for the civilians. <laughs> yeah, me too. Sir, we're looking for first platoon. Hotel 25. I got a bro named Cowboy there. I'm Cowboy's platoon commander. Cowboy's just down the road in a platoon area. Uh, you mind if we tag along, sir? No problem. Welcome aboard. The dead know only one thing. It is better to be alive. Jesus, man. Good morning, Lieutenant. Good morning. I make it 20. Is that the official body count, sir? What outfit are you men with? Oh, sir, we're reporters from Stars and Stripes. They went around their houses real polite and asked them to report the next day for political re-education. Everybody turned up got shot. Some they buried alive. Oh, my God. Hey! Colonel? Green, what is that button on your body armor? A peace symbol, sir. Where'd you get it? I don't remember, sir. You write born to kill on your helmet and you wear a peace button. What's that supposed to be, some kind of sick joke? No, sir. What is it supposed to mean? I think I was trying to suggest something about the duality of man, sir. The what? The duality of man, the Jungian thing, sir. You been getting any? Only your sister. Well, better my sister than my mom, though my mom's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
What the fuck? I'm gonna tear you a new asshole. Oh, oh, that's nice. Well, Pilgrim, only after you eat the peanuts out of my shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, he's not impressed. <laughs> what the fuck? Talk the. Oh my god. Do you walk? Man, I feel like it's just gonna get bad. Oh yeah. I'm just waiting for like the storm to happen. You know what I mean? It's like the calm before the storm. It's like it's building up to, to something. Oh! Oh no. Wait. What hit him? Maybe a shrapnel? Something? I, I don't know. Oh my god. The twitching. Yeah, I think that lieutenant's a goner. Okay. Oh, man. Like, dude, I'm getting, like, some very, very bad vibes right now. Yeah, no, this could be the storm we were waiting for. Yeah. <sighs> you just know something's gonna happen soon. Yep. It's just a matter of, uh, who's gonna get, like... Uh... Oh, damn! Oh! 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 Whoa! He's Swiss cheesing the building! Damn, he's having too much fun. God, the trees are getting... Whoa! Grenade launcher, okay. Oh yeah, I know he's feeling that. He's shaking. Dude, the amount of bullet holes in that building is insane. Damn, that guy looks like a mummy! Holy hell, he's bandaged up. Woo, boy. Oh, a little bunny. Oh, well, that's a big one. Oh, shh. Face and take cover, do it. So the bunny was a trap. Yeah. He ain't gonna make it. Oh, Hotel One Actual, this is Cowboy. Hotel One Actual, this is Cowboy. Murph, this is Cowboy. Craziest hit. Booby trap. Oh, damn. Basically, just leave him. I'm squad leader. Falling anywhere, scumbag. <sighs> How quick you're just thrown away. Replaced. Instantly, like, all right, I guess it's you, buddy. Like, uh, that's it. God damn. They're just expendable, that's all they are. Mm hmm. That's what they're taught in their training, so that's why they're not even totally phased. Nope. What's up? I think we made a mistake at the last checkpoint. I think we're here. And we should be here. Well, I think we should change direction. Hopefully this direction change doesn't lead into like a... Uh... Yeah, I think it's gonna put them in the... Changing direction. Okay, we're changing direction. We're heading over that way. Hey, Paul's gonna go over there and see, can he find a way through? Got it? Got it. Got it. Got it. Pretty sure that's where all the gunfire is coming from too, so it's like... Yeah. I have a feeling that man's gonna die. I have a bad feeling. A, a mine. I'm expecting a mine. Or just to get wasted on the spot. Dude, it's just like there's so much um, tension. <gasps> oh my god! Oh no. I knew it. Oh no. <gasps> oh my god. Right in the leg. God damn it! Oh, cease your fire, mother! Cease your fucking fire! What? God damn it! Oh my God! Dude, he's dead, man. There's nothing you could do for him. Man, fuck this fire! Fuck this shit! I'm going in to bring him out. That guy's crazy as hell. Jesus. Oh no. 
Yeah. He's hit next. He's inside there. He's not. Yeah, well, we're not leaving Doc J and 8 Ball out there. Doc J and 8 Ball are wasted. You know that. Bullshit. Come on, you guys. We gotta go bring him back. Let's go get him. Let's do it. Stand down, mother. That's a direct order. <laughs> Where's the sniper? Shit. Um, they're they're just they're dead. They're they're dead. I'm just like wondering. It's what... amazing how much pressure one person at a vantage point can just cause, you know? Yeah, but I'm wondering if he's luring them into a trap. That one sniper, like it's not gonna be just one guy. Who knows? It actually just could be. There is that too. Donna, give me that radio. Yo, he could see you Aren't right from there. Oh no. Oh shit! Oh shit. Oh! Oh my god, man. Let's go get some payback. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Things change when your friend's killed right in front of you. Yep. But it's like you said, man. It's crazy what one man can do with an advantage point. I'll be amazed if it was really just one guy. A part of me is thinking of there. It, it has to be more. It can't just be one guy. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking the exact same thing. I feel like there's more people in there. Yeah, I feel like they're just falling into a trap. It's a woman. I think it's a young woman as well. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he got her. I fucking blew her away. <laughs> I'm a bad. Not the time to start popping off over killing a young girl. I don't know if Joker can do it. Took her out of her, um... Misery? Yeah, because I can imagine the amount of pain that was. We have nailed our names in the pages of history. Enough for today. We have just finished watching Full Metal Jacket. And the movie surprised me a lot. A lot of, there are some great actors there. I just couldn't put... Like a finger on who they were. They were really young, that's why. Yeah. Some of them were really young, but very, like, familiar faces. I think the guy who played, um, Pyle... Yeah? ...was actually the guy who played Kingpin in the Daredevil show. What? Yeah, I'm pretty sure his face has some similarities. It, okay, we're gonna have to look that up afterwards. I'm I have to check out the cast. I, I can't remember the actor's but name. A lot of them looked familiar, and I just, I, I couldn't, like... Mm-hmm. ...put, like, uh, the faces... A lot like, the of them. ...the faces... God, but the movie was really, really good. I, showing the contrast of not only the um, the war in itself, but the mental, like... The mental aspect of it all. Of the training and the abusive nature of it. Like, oh my God, what happened to, to Lawrence there was just... Yeah, pile man, like... Okay. He, he was pushed to his absolute limit. The thing is, I had a feeling he was going to commit suicide, but I did not see... That he would shoot the drill sergeant. No, first. that I did not expect. I didn't think he was going to kill the guy first. I, I really didn't think that was going to happen. But, I mean, jeez. He broke him. Like, he literally broke him mentally. And yeah. he just couldn't take it. And where he wanted like, to he, just, like... He just ruined his life, pretty much. I wouldn't say ruined his life, but, well, like... yeah, in a sense, it ruined him. Like, everyone was up true. against him. Everyone hated him. Everyone was just, like... He was alone, and he resented him so much. Because it was all because of him singling him out in every situation. Yep. And at some point, that's the thing, man. You something like you know this whole like um, 
the whole tough thing, the whole tough act of teaching someone like how to do something or whatnot. It works for some people, but then there's not that just other that, half. Not just that, it works for some people, but what he was doing wasn't tough, like level teaching someone the hard. It was he bullying. Was, yeah, it was literally bullying. It was straight and up abuse. bullying. Yeah. Well, like, in what world does it help to have everyone against him if they're supposed to be brothers in arms and stuff like that, right? But it's like I said, like, you don't make him conform, you don't make him learn quicker, you just make him resent everybody. And you push him into that dark place where his only out is killing himself. And, of course, the person who did it all to him, too. Yeah. And then the whole war aspect was just crazy. It's just like, it felt like nobody actually, like when they're doing the interviews, nobody knew why they were actually there. No, they didn't know what was going on. Nobody knew and what not, the hell was going not on. Not just that, but sometimes I was thinking, who's even the, who's the squad leader every now and then? Like, they're just, they're just changing all the time. You die, oh, I guess it's you now. Yeah, You're just, dead, I oh, guess it's you now. pass on responsibilities. Ah, you seem good enough. Now, here, you take it, or someone just takes it for themselves kind of thing. It, it, it First guy just, on the radio? Guess you're the leader. Yeah. I was just like, what the hell? Like, that's the thing. N nobody knew what was happening. No. It was just constant shifts of, like, power and stuff like that. And, not and just that, but look, they went the wrong way. How'd they go the wrong way? Faulty leadership. That, like you said, like, it, it was just, uh, everything was all over the place. It's like nobody cared. Yeah, there's no organization. There was none. Whatsoever. And, like, and like you could see a lot of them, it got to their head. Like the guy just shooting down the civilians uh, farming. And then there's the body of civilians that they find. They're just like, oh, they were called out. And then just shot killed. It's like, holy hell, man. It's just like. It's not normal. But it's the way they're trained and instilled. They, where... It's pretty much like they're trained. How can you say it? Not trained. Um, It's kind of like beaten into their head. Manipulated. You know? In a sense that this is normal. This is okay. You know, mm -hmm. oh my God! The one thing I, c I couldn't really hand is just the racial slurs being thrown around so much. Like it makes sense because it fits the movie and the time it was in. I guarantee you, it's pretty much friggin' normal for them. But still, man, a movie like this cannot be made ever again. You cannot make this movie in twenty. Yeah, you could. Twenty one. No, you couldn't. Not yeah, like you that. Could. Yeah, not you like, could. No, yeah, you could. So. It's the time period. You gotta present it realistically. People but, use these stories know, on the it, average. It just wouldn't be done. It Dude, wouldn't be done to that degree. It, it, there, it was used Kurt, so much. Curtis, I was like, Whoa. Curtis, do you remember Django Unchained? Yeah. There's a proof. Django Unchained was not that long ago, and I remember we saw that movie. And it used the time. Oh, dude, they threw it around a lot. That's how it was, Jeez, dude. man. I know, but, but that's just That's just the way people were back then. You got to remember, it's different times, different just, rules. I know. People are different nowadays. People have grown. People have adapted. People have learned. People back then, that's what they grew and adapt to and learn to do. You know, it's just the way it is. You know, it's just realistic. Yeah, you can't just ignore that factor. And yes, it could be made today. I disagree wholeheartedly with that. Uh, I... Uh, the movie was really good. It was. You know, it was Tur great. Tubrick, like, what, what, what did we watch from him? Um, Space, Space Odyssey, Odyssey, I believe. Space Odyssey, I wasn't the biggest fan of, to be honest. This was a far better movie. Yeah, this was really good. That's it. Well, it made sense to me. I think that's the best yeah. part. <laughs> I, I, when it ended, I was but, like, I got, I understood a lot of this. I just, uh, for this movie, like, what I liked is that, like, there wasn't a, like, when the action scene... Was, really was it the same guy, Stanley Kubrick? Yes, it was. Uh, 100%. Space Odyssey... Let me just see. I gotta be. make sure is this the same name or I'm just messing something up. Yeah, Stanley Kubrick. Okay. Same I don't guy. want I did not want to get that wrong. Yeah. So I know somebody the would... exact same guy. And dude, like what I liked is that every time there was a form of scene where there's like like action of sorts like that, right? Dead silence. We hear nothing but the battlefield of what we only hear what they hear. Yeah. It, that made it so much better. So much better. Because you felt that like how tense it was. Like it was too quiet, and you're just like Something feels wrong yes, all the time. You, you keep expecting someone to... And that's what happens. Someone would just randomly blow up and die. And you're like, yeah. what? But it, I, what I liked about it is like, it set on the paranoia on you as well. Like You kind of felt like how they felt. You, you, like something's gonna, you know something's going to happen, but you don't know when. Mm -hmm. And it's just... You're pretty much... It's a waiting game. That's what, it, that's what I really liked about it. I like those scenes a lot. Yeah, man. It was, just, it was pretty sad as well. I like, I like Joker too. Joker was a really good character. That was it. He, it, it's sad because he seemed like a decent guy. I know, but you saw that the polar the opposites there, both, not polar opposites, but you saw that moment where he was talking to the guy, I think his name Mother Lover or something. Yeah. <laughs> he talked to him, he's like, how many, uh, no, it was the guy inside of the, uh, the helicopter before, he yes. was gunning down his face. He said, how many women are children? And the guy gave him an answer, I can't remember completely. And, but then at the end, he killed both a woman and child. Yep. That was the he did it, interesting he contrast. Did it to end her suffering. No, but still, it was the interesting contrast yep. that he could say, "I have." 
Yep. I don't know. I just, it was a good movie. I liked it a lot. Acting was great. It was just, uh, that wow. was a pretty good, like, small form of twist at the end. I didn't think it was going to be a young girl. I had a feeling. Oh, really? I had a feeling. I didn't say it, but I had a feeling it was going to be a... Uh, and it was just one person. They, that was that, the bigger was surprise. The they could have just ru- they could have just rushed in earlier on, and, I mean, less people would have gotten wrecked, but it's just how it Better is. Better safe than sorry. You never, you never know. That's the thing with the war, dude. Like... You don't yeah. know what's they, there for, laying there for you. You know, it could be anything. Like, you saw, step to pick up a rabbit, boom, you're dead. Like, oh, my oh, God. Dude, that was a big rabbit, too. That, that was, was uncalled for. Yeah, just and blows them up. We're just rambling. We're gonna, I'm going to end it now because like, I'm oh, looking yeah. at the time, man. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, okay. But um, thank you, guys, again, for all your support. I'm blown away. I have to get better at keeping myself better under control of a schedule and stuff. It's just, you know, it's hard. Work sucks. Hey, hey you you know what's up? What work sucks. But, you know, honestly, guys, thank you so much. Uh, and this movie was really... Man, it, it gave me everything. Like, there's, it was, like, a lot of adrenaline. It's pretty sad. And just, like, God, it, just, it was an emotional roller coaster, honestly. Yeah. But, yeah, that is it from us. I'm going to go to bed because I am a tired boy. <laughs> and I have to work tomorrow. But thank you, guys. Honest to God. Bye. Bye.